What is going on, IF Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the health benefits of intermittent fasting, specifically targeting one specific situation based on a new study that came out, a new research and study that came out that has a little bit more nuance to it when it talks about your gut and the reconstruction that's happening there. Stay tuned. Okay guys, this video is gonna be super short. I'm just going to talk about this one study, this one research as concise as possible. I do not wanna confuse anybody because there is a lot of different uh, terminology that they use, medical terminology, scientific terminology, and I wanna make sure that you guys can consume this information. Now, it's no secret that intermittent fasting helps with metabolic diseases, cancer, things like that. Studies have already shown that, but what the researchers wanted to do in this study in which they use mice is that they wanted to determine if there's a reconstruction going on in your stomach in the actual gut microbiota and and they checked to see this because they wanted to see if this stopped something specific just a one specific thing if it, if it uh, counteracted it or if it, it reduced it and what they were trying to stop was the diabetic retinopathy and diabetic retinopathy is basically when you 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 have diabetes the blood flow pushes a lot of blood to your eyes your retina can get damaged you can go blind new blood vessels actually form on your your eye and you can see it in a person's eye the diabetes is pushing too much blood to your eyeball if you have diabetes this is a concern for a lot of people who have diabetes and that's called diabetic retinopathy what this study was looking at was does it do anything in the stomach to reduce that side effect of diabetes and as we know intermittent fasting is extremely useful for letting the body relax letting the body heal and for anyone who thinks that these things are pseudoscience studies like this continue to come out to show that intermittent fasting is extremely nuanced has a full catalog of undiscovered health benefits that are slowly being discovered little by little as they continue to test it. So what they found is that without any pharmacological interference with one group of mice, and, and the thing with this is the if pharmacological interference is giving them any kind of medicine, anything at all. They had one group just do intermittent fasting, they had another one not do anything, and then they had another one uh, where they did a pharmacological interference and how the mice reacted to that medicine as opposed to the mice that were reacting just to intermittent fasting. They noticed that there was a significant increase in the torosodeoxicolate. Basically, that's just a neuroprotective bile and acid that's happening in your stomach. So the normal bile and acid is being replaced with this neuroprotective bile and acid and that was not seen in the feeding mice were the ones that were eating all the time that wasn't seen in them it was only seen in those mice that were doing intermittent fasting so the microbiota was being changed so to shorten this big word let's just call it the tudca so for the tudca yes i would rather say all of those letters than continue to keep on saying that big word but anyways what that tudca is doing it is sending these cells these neural cells through your bloodstream to your eyeballs and is basically reducing the possibility of diabetic retinopathy by stumping its travel vessel. So the study was very, very successful. The research was very, very successful in determining that intermittent fasting actually does help prevent diabetic retinopathy because of the fact that it increases the TUDCA in your bile and acid, and that helps protect you from that side effect of diabetes so yet it's little by little assisting you with the diabetes but it's also doing other things where it's helping you when it comes to the side effect that could be permanent damage a lot of people who have diabetic retinopathy they cannot see they lose the sight in their eyes so this is a, an amazing thing to understand that restricting yourself from eating or having a certain uh, intermittent fasting regimen actually allows you to heal that and also protect from that and maybe you don't care about this this, but I do care about these kind of things because I want to see the full breadth of what intermittent fasting can do. I want to know all the health benefits and all the weight loss benefits from it, but I also want to see the nuance for it. Like I understand that yes, it does help heal you uh, because there are so many studies that it, it, it talks about, you know, autophagy and things like that. But I want to see how far the nuance of intermittent fasting body healing actually is. And to see studies like this, 
uh, is extremely encouraging and I'm super happy that they go ahead and, and continue to uh, go deep layers in to see exactly why it's helping someone with diabetes or exactly why it's helping someone with high blood sugar or why it's making people feel better what is exactly happening like tackling the microbiota things like that that's how we're gonna know exactly what's going on with intermittent fasting inside your body when it comes to healing and I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to the study down below if you want to go ahead and check that out for yourself and of course I want to thank my patrons from my patreon I love your support thank you so much and I'm gonna put your names right up here And of course, as always, I'll see you on Wednesday for another FAQ. Peace!